Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum. So today we will discuss how a species is helpful in experimental research. As in experimental research, we provide some training. Uh, that training may be in the companies. That training may be to the students. But in this example, we have students. We provide provide a training to the students, and after the training we again conduct a test so this is the results of pre-test that is before the training and the post-test result this is the results after the training of the 25 students now we want to analyze and we want to check that is there any significant difference between the pre-test and the post-test. So the most important that this should be in one variable view. Like in variable view, control group, I have just named to this variable and the values assigned to this uh, variable is one is per pre-test and two per post-test. We need to compare it. So this is important that it will be in uh, one column. That's in one column you have to organize your pre-test and post-test results. And this is the results of the students in pre-test and further is the results in post-test. Now we want to conduct a t-test uh, test of independence to check whether there is any significant difference between the two groups or there is no significant difference between the two groups. So what we have to do first click on analyze, compare mean and independent sample t-test. So we want here to check the significant difference between the pre-test and post-test. So this is our we this we will shift to the grouping variable after shifting the uh, to the grouping variable you have to define your groups so i have two groups which one i have assigned to group one and two i have assigned to the post test that is my group two so i click continue okay now you want to test uh, which one of the variable so here I test all uh, the variables that the tenses as well the parts of speech, uh, voices, narration and total. And uh, I want to test it on a 95 confidence interval. So uh, it's already here is 95 percent confidence interval. You can check it on 90 percent confidence interval. You can check a 99 uh, percent confidence interval. But generally we use the 95 percent confidence interval. So just click on continue and click OK. So this is uh, our group statistic and this is independent sample t-test. So now we check the independent sample t-test output. So as the first column is f-test, f-test we use for uh, uh, used for the variances of the both groups. So the assumption which need for independent sample t-test is the homocedasticity that the variances is assumed equal. So as the significant, there is no uh, look at the p-value is greater than 0 0.05. So there is no significant difference uh, between the variances of the group. So all the groups have same variances. So this is OK. Now we can continue to the independent sample t-test output. Now this is the p-value uh, significance on two tail. So the first is uh, significant. There is significance in tenses that the experiment is more effective. There is significant difference between the pre-test and post-test uh, parts of speech. There is a highly significant. They have uh, experiment is more effective. Uh, here we can check the vices. Vices have highly significant. There is the experiment is more effective. Uh, as there is a highly significant difference between the 
pre-test and post-test uh, narration there is a highly significance and total is highly significant so this is the independent sample t-test and this is the way how we run the species and uh, when we have the experimental research data so i hope uh, you have learned how to run species for your experimental research data so thank you very much.